welcome to our bonus episode to celebrate our launch date, which is Halloween. Scary. <laughs> yes, so scary. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this is our like special edition locker talk, yes. and the topic is appearances from hell. Dun dun dun. We need scary music, but we'll add that later. Yeah, hopefully we find some <laughs> some free music. Nobody comes after us for copyright infringement. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, scary basically, stuff. Besides cheering at the games. Mm-hmm. We weren't required to. It was volunteer to do like appearances and like extra fun things. And we got to do a lot of fun things, I would say, on the side. Yeah. I mean, we were kind of like the road trip in Queens where we would go to different, you know, more remote parts of Washington State and uh, Squim, Burlington, yes. Aberdeen, to yes. name a few. <laughs> very, very far away from home, but it would be fun to kind of hang out together and. One appearance from hell that comes to mind is, you know, those good of old calendar sales. Take, yeah, <laughs> of course, it would take place at a Walmart. <laughs> I love Walmart. Walmart's the best. Lots of people Target's watching better. going on. But uh, this <laughs> appearance that we did at Walmart in Aberdeen, Aberdeen, which is almost to Ocean Shores, so the end of the world, basically. Yes. And we got there. It was great meeting fans. I mean, you know, these are people who maybe don't hate may not have the ability to come to games or really benefit from the appearances that we do more in the local community. So all walks of life. And, uh, you know, we were sitting there (laughs) signing autographs, and um, lo and behold, a fan comes up. and uh, Well, what it was is he he showed up. He was in a wheelchair, totally Mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's like, will you sign my hat? And we were yes, like, oh, of yeah, of course, we'll sign your it hat. It was dirty as hell, It though. was. I Okay, I'm not trying to be rude, but please stop handing me your sweaty hat that just came off your head yeah, to your nasty me, hair. and now I, I have to put my fingers in the and cap to, to be able to, to sign hold the it. Lid, Ew. The, like, yeah. The and lid, we did not, the bill. on oh. the spot, use, you know, sanitizer. You're just trying to be gracious. and So the hat was bad enough because it looked gross. Right, but under the hat was a maxed out catheter bag Bag filled with dark urine nasty y'all it was so bad i mean what were you thinking like you have to empty that out or just (laughs) or just or just never let us see it i mean because that's yeah it was just pretty bad that was and yeah that stuck out sorry yeah we're not trying to be mean but it's like ew yeah thank you that's what it's right i've held babies with like poopy diapers and throw up all over them yeah, and it's fine. That like, comes, you know, that comes with the exactly. territory. But do we ever expect to see that? No, not quite. Not so like we that. signed it. <laughs> no, we did not. We <laughs> we didn't sign a catheter yeah. bag. We said it was nice to meet him and signed his hat. Yes, but that was definitely pretty, like, kind of shocking you know. and gross. Well, you sometimes there were appearances where you're just you feel like you really just want to shower after. Yeah, after. Yeah, you can it? You kind of well, can't. not yeah, exactly. We drove all the way to Aberdeen, which is a good two, three hours. Oh, and we got pulled over. Is this that after. trip? That was that trip. No, yes, different right one. past Olympia. Didn't we? We got pulled. Did I get a ticket? No, we got pulled over after a different calendar sale. <laughs> <laughs> it was on I five. I think so. But anyway, yeah. Well, <laughs> hell, that was from hell too. But that was yeah, funny because the, the lights were shining. Yes. <laughs> And I thought it was a good idea to take a selfie with the lights in my eyes. Yes. Well, how were we not arrested? I don't know. know. Well, that makes me think we were crossing the border, dang it, coming from, (laughs) you got a little feisty with the, did I? Remember we were coming back from Vancouver? Oh, no. Brittany does not like authority, and she, (laughs) anyway, we, our our road story, our road trip stories are another. We might as well tell it. We went okay. up to Vancouver to audition for Macklemore's music video. We thought it would be so fun. Yes. One Did of we our make crazy... it? No. <laughs> well, they could have been a little bit more descriptive that we want, like, circus characters who can, they like, contort their bodies people. and I don't know. But it was super fun. We just so went fun. up there and on a whim and same day. Didn't we come back the same night? Yeah, we, yeah, drove, up we drove up and auditioned and drove back the same day. It was like sure a Friday. Did. I got it off work. 
Um, but of course, being like performers, we had suitcases <laughs> in the back of the car. <laughs> and so when we were heading back to the USA, America, uh, they go, you know, how long have you been here? We're like just for today. And then he's like, well, why do you have suitcases in the back? And I was like, what did With I say? With an attitude, she was like, I don't know, we're girls, we have stuff. And then he was like, pull over. <laughs> yes. So then what did we sit there for like two hours while they checked my whole car? Yes. So, yeah, we had to take the walk of shame into the little building, holding room. Holding room. I decided to do all the talking from there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it was it was scary but fun. Yeah, because, I mean, now everybody knows we auditioned for it and did not make it. But oh, it was just kind of like. It was just it fun. Just, what, We've what never do done a music doing? video. Yeah, I there's mean, drugs in it. Like, what does he think? <laughs> jerk <laughs> they're already kind of rude yeah they are yeah i'm the you know hey we're friends for a reason yeah. i get real feisty too yeah it's... exactly <laughs> but, but appropriately not, not when, when you're when talking it... to like a cop well yeah yeah depends on the situation well one um appearance from hell that i have it involves a mini horse and Cheney Stadium in Tacoma. So I had a promo there. I'm not quite sure what the context of it was, but there is this like famous Seahawks mini horse. I feel so bad for this horse, but it's a white little mini horse that they yeah. paint blue and green and like have outfits for it. I forgot it. the name of the horse. It has a name? I think it does. I've seen it at an appearance when okay. I used to do Blue Friday rallies. In they had this horse inside Cheney Stadium in, like, one of the suites. And so we were doing, like, a visit with fans. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then I heard, like, a dun-dun-dun. Like, something hit the floor. And I look over, and this horse was pooping in inside inside the suite. Well, because they don't – they're not like dogs where they no. won't go on certain surfaces. Right. <laughs> so that was so bizarre. Did somebody clean it up? Or was I it just – I think I just walked away and <laughs> took some photos with fans. <laughs> That's nasty. Yeah, it is. Oh, you got a good one from Super Bowl. Oh, see this. You want to hear me get feisty? Yeah. Um, So the Super Bowl in Arizona is not my favorite Super Bowl, obviously. Um, I think that whole trip was just kind of on the weird side. It was weird. I think Phoenix is a little haunted or they have something against the Seahawks. There's some hex going on down there. Anyway, something that would never, I don't think ever would have happened in Seattle or the surrounding area with a fan. But, uh, or somebody who's not even a fan. It was just weird. We are inside of their baseball stadium having a big fan rally. It's packed with people. We're walking around waiting for our time to perform and interacting with the fans and stuff. And, you know, sometimes we... in the baseball field. Yeah. Okay, Mm -hmm. I remember this. Mm -hmm. This was like a big deal. Yeah. So It it was fun. It was fun. It was full of fans. We're taking pictures. I think we were doing it in shifts and so I'm walking and you know you interact with the fans and some are really cool and sweet sometimes there are girls who are and this was supposed to be Seahawk fans exactly so okay so I thought this was like you know like out where Mm -mm. any kind of fan could okay continue so I don't know who this chick was but she had already passed this and I think like looked us up and down sometimes you know she was with her boyfriend or a male companion Mm -hmm. and I I got a vibe. Her. You got a vibe, but you know, she looked us up and down, and then she came running back to us, like, I'm so nice. It's so nice to meet you guys. Like, gave some little spiel so that she could shake my but hand. But made a point to, like, extend her hand, hand. Extended her hand to me. Like, it was so nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, you guys are so pretty. So I stick my hand out to shake this little Beth's hand, and uh, she had spit in her hand. In her fucking. Was there? <laughs> we have to mark explicit. No. Whatever. She spit in a goddamn hand, and I was there I, like a string. It was connecting tiny. The two? It was just oh. so. And it was like it was one of those things where you're just like, what the hell just happened? And I'm looking, and then it like registered. Like you should have wiped it down her face. She's said, long nice gone. To meet you. She's long gone. By the Sick. time I, I mean, I, you know, it didn't take too long to figure out what the heck was in my hand, but she was long gone. I man, if, and this place is filled with people because you know me being me, I would have really found that chick if it were any other time and place but it was so frustrating and disgusting and lord knows if i would have been able to put eyes on her again and i think i would have forgot i was in uniform at that time but yeah that was very unpleasant i mean i haven't really had too many crappy crappy interactions with fans people usually are really awesome and nice to me i mean you might get looks like from people who are you know maybe on the little jelly side or something like that but keep it moving spit in your hand though yeah yeah 
Well, one time at a visitor's game, mm-hmm. well, not a visitor game. It was at a game, home game, but yeah. visitor's side, um, some guy was chucking quarters at me, like doing the flick them at him. And did it hit you? It hit me. That's why I was like, what's, what's like hitting me? And I looked around. And there's and, freaking like, quarters, the on, quarters the field? on the field. So I should have picked him up. But That's, <laughs> <laughs> you always keep the silver. <laughs> That sounds like us in Vegas picking up dollar, <laughs> the dollar bills, bills in this pool. from the dollar. But what bill did gun. you did you look at him or say I something? I think I like tried to find a cop and was like, I think he's throwing stuff at me. And he's probably like, cool, I don't care. But I heard one time um, they were throwing meat at the girls, like hot dogs. No. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I heard about that. That's a game from hell, then. Yeah, that's a game from hell. Are you like, serious? Who? Could you imagine if you got like a little mustard or something on your uniform, like? It's, I love it's, mustard. it's bad enough out there, okay? We can't, you know, we might get hit with a ball. You might get run over by a player. I mean, I wish that happened. It never happened to me. Oh. You wanted to be hit? Oh. I did. The right I player wanted to. me. I am married, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I was so jealous. Um, I think it was last season. Jimmy Graham, like, uh, fell on top of a girl. And oh, I was that's like, right. Why not me? But I heard he really, like, hurt, plummeted her a little bit. Oh. Yeah. But I, I could handle been. it. Yeah, I'd have probably got a couple thrusts in. No, I'm right. just kidding. <laughs> then get up. <laughs> Help me, I can't get up. Uh-huh. Oh, this is true. Uh, but yeah, I never yeah. moved either. Like, I was never going to be that girl on TV that was, like, running away because, oh, uh-huh. oh balls. No, Sorry, I'm, I'm like, hit Did me. you see the chick get banged in the head? There was Ooh, a, no. There was a. <laughs> they can be bad, but don't on look NFL scared. Network, but oh. she took it like a champ. Really? She just, like. Got Boing! <laughs> kept talking. <laughs> pretty Change much. direction. And the sad part is uh, Nate Rawlson, who's from Seattle. What up? Uh, he pointed out that there was a ball boy who was like tracing the ball, and then saw that it was about to hit her, and just kind of like ran out of the cameras. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And then tried to come back in the frame to go get the ball. Like oh, he could have no. gave her a heads up or something. Like watch out! But yeah, yeah. heads. No, I yeah, I wish. Well, I this wish this is going to sound could've... inappropriate, but I feel like there's an attraction between balls and my head. Like, <laughs> no matter where I go. <laughs> yeah, really, Brittany? <laughs> yeah, like, my guy who plays volleyball, like, I get hit in the head probably, like, just every from, Just from being minute. a spectator? Just being there. I, I can't. I, I freak out all the time. They're like, heads! And I'm, like, covering my head, like, panicking, because I'm going to get pelted. Oh, my god! I think they're aiming for me. I don't know. But. I don't, yeah, I haven't been hit. But I'm, I'm with you. Like, when the action comes near you, ball. it's exciting. Yeah, I want to throw down my palms and, like, rah, like jump up and yeah. catch the ball. No, I'm, I'm right there with you. I yeah. love when the action would be close to us on the field. Yeah. This is scary. Well, that's yeah, scary. Ooh, ooh. scary. Okay, back to that. <laughs> A cowboy hat. How about this? <laughs> well, we thought about, like, games from hell, but when I think of a couple games from hell, there's one where there was a thunderstorm that was so bad that they had to stop the game. And my squad because we're in four corners of the, of the stadium and it was so bad that everybody had to you know the game stopped so was i on the team this year i don't think you I don't was. think so well everybody else the got to go, go out it did, power didn't go out but they oh, okay. definitely stopped the game because of the risk of the thunderstorm so all the other groups or squads of girls got to go back to the dressing room dry their hair, Why chill didn't you? out. Because we were stuck in the one corner century link that doesn't like connect to the rest of the stadium and we couldn't walk across the field because we were like not get supposed struck to. By lightning. Couldn't, yeah. That was oh, not awesome. fun because that does not you know sound like fun. No, it was not. We just were sitting there like cold little Lord knows what we probably were wearing. I don't remember if we were like And you're on like the mini on. squad. You're probably like, I hate you for saying that. But <laughs> I'm not sure. You guys are petite. Yeah. And so probably got cold a lot quicker yeah. than the ginger bees. Well, for <laughs> everybody else was just chilling so hard when we finally got to go back. And then it was obviously time to go back out there because, you know, it was, you know, whatever. That felt right. like a game for because we were trapped and we couldn't do anything. But another one, though, that was just kind of like all... <laughs> Whatever hot mess. Could, hot mess central. Whatever could go wrong went wrong. So we had a routine that we were dancing in cowboy hats, and um, which I hated always because oh it's gosh. country and I hate country music. Yeah. Okay, I don't hate it, but I don't enjoy it. Dancing to it. Right. Well, it never really felt like our routines were really like country-ish. Anyway, we don't even really do it anymore. Thank goodness. But, yeah. I but think for this we, reason, you continue. probably that and the dang on cowboy hats that I remember. It was a paranoia about them getting wet, right? Oh, <laughs> Because true. they would stick together or do some craziness. But she, the whole routine is around these dang-on cowboy hats. So we, 
<laughs> and of course, in the routine, there's a point where you put them on the ground to do a little like, ha ha, kick to the side, <laughs> a hitch kick. <laughs> But during this performance, I'm telling you, we had so many. So I probably at the start of the game, it was raining. Then it like cleared. This is Seattle weather for you, everybody. It's I think schizophrenic. I remember this now because yeah. it was like, what are we going to do? Are we going to do the dance without the hat since exactly. they can't get wet? Exactly. Or are we going to just risk it and ruin them and do it? Exactly. And it was like. And there were all these contingency plans, right? But I think it rained early on before our first quarter change and then it stopped. And so it's like, oh, we can dance with the hats. But then <laughs> we're dancing with these hats. And the wind just kicked into high gear out of nowhere. And everybody's hats are blowing They're all barrel over the barrel rolling <laughs> across the field. <laughs> the hats went on. <laughs> they went AWOL. So the hats are flying all over the place. And people don't know whether to, like, go chase them down. It was just, like, such a crap show. It was ridiculous. And I felt like... It was some other crazy element for the day that it was just that game just had everything go wrong that could possibly <laughs> go go wrong. But I just have this vision of hats rolling down the <laughs> down the, the field. field, and then you got to pick it up to finish. Like <laughs> woo, like throw it, thrust the hat in the air, like yeehaw, oh and then gosh. you don't have a hat. Yeah, I mean, and you don't know. Like, do you just continue dancing with like an invisible hat? <laughs> do you chase down the one that's on that girl's shoe now? Exactly. Somebody's gonna bust oh. her butt, just like the games with all of the Christmas. Uh, right. presents and stuff and let it snow let it snow with let canes snow. that you break and like just props <gasps> in general in okay are... turn turn snap <laughs> turn turn in general when you have props i think it's a it's a risk in, it in is. fl because That's you're outside and people love the christmas games though yes they do but our little Santa dresses, I have a thick neck, I think. And so it always <laughs> choked me. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> the whole game, just like, please, I want to take it off. Well, that dress. So I always prayed for rain because then we'd definitely have oh, to take them off because our little feathers would die. We'd look like wilted dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all we have? That's all we have. No way. Well, there's your bonus episode, everyone. Happy we hope Halloween. you're having a hop. Happy, happy Halloween. Halloween! Oh, that reminds me of our Halloween episode, like halftime performance that we did our rookie year. That was the funnest one ever. Yeah, because we truly did the thriller dance, like to a T. Yes, there was no like, oh, let's alter it. We did the thriller dance. Yes, shout out to Kelly who taught the thriller routine for everybody, yeah. just to get us all on the same page. We had alumni come back. We had like Jack they the dressed skeleton. up like zombies. It was so cool. somebody dance. Yeah. Who the heck is that? Oh, yeah, the zombie dude. With yeah. The, on the stilts and the whole nine. That was a really cool performance. That it was, was fun. Cool. Yeah. Why don't we? Then we didn't really do too much halftime stuff. I feel no. Like after that. Well, I mean, sometimes, and we'll see in the next, this weekend probably, there'll be girls that are um, dressed up in Halloween attire for the games. Oh, we that's were never true. really allowed to do that, but we would have, we had a few practices where we were allowed to have, have a dance party in our uniforms. One year, my squad was the Disney princesses. I was Princess Tiana with my little Kermit the Frog thing that I we kissed. We were village people. I never got good. <laughs> <laughs> Which one were you? Um, Fire guy? The I fire, was. Firefighter I was guy? a firefighter. Lame. That is kind of lame. Yeah. And Aww. then the one year that we were going to just, like, free-for-all it, mm-hmm. and I think I was going to be Jessica Rabbit, like... It got canceled. Oh. People were like, I don't really want to dress up. Well, because the rule was we had to be able to dance in it for practice. It couldn't yep. be, like, too big of a distraction. Right. But the Disney princesses, we just, we nailed that. Yeah, man. that one was cool. I mean, we that had... That year, you guys came up with some really cool That was costumes. fun. Yeah. We had the whole gamut of Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella. Tatiana. Tatiana. What's her name? No, Tiana. I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm changing my name. <laughs> <laughs> Tiana. Bell. Oh Who else was it? I think we had Pocahontas and um, who else is there? Oh, one of them was Alice in Wonderland. She kind of cheated, but it was okay because it was so cute. Yeah, we it was cute. That was fun. What are you going to be this year for Halloween? This year I am going to be a sexy jazzercise instructor. Nice. <laughs> a mix between <laughs> like flash dance and and what's her name? Jamie Lee Curtis thrusting and humping and teaching a jazz exercise class with John Travolta. I, th- that's my dance moves all night. Squats, lunges, cool. hip like thrusts. It. Nice. You know. <laughs> what are you going to be? I'm going to be Kim Kardashian West wearing the hot pink 
dress she wore for her sister's 21st birthday. Ooh. Yes. Are you doing a redheaded version of Kim Kardashian? Or I have you? a wig. Ooh. Yep. And your contacts. hair is so long. How do you fit wigs over your hair? I don't understand. Just mush it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I'm thinking about doing like some waterproof mascara on my real hair to make it match. Do you oh. think do that? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds good. We'll see. (laughs) Well, we'll have to post pictures. Everybody post pictures from your Halloween outfits. Shout out to the people who are being cheerleaders. Still trying to convince my daughter that that's the move she should make. Yes, absolutely. Be a cheerleader for Halloween. That'd be fun. Have a safe Halloween. Absolutely. And next week, next Wednesday, we're going to release our She's Got the Looks episode. Yes. This episode, we are interviewing one of our favorite makeup artists from MAC that we've worked with on calendar shoots, and she actually did Britney's makeup for her wedding, and we're just talking all about the look of professional cheerleaders and getting her philosophy on makeup, and just, it's a really fun episode. She's our first guest. You'll love it. Yeah. Tune in. See you Wednesday. Bye.